Here's a simple but effective technique I use. I take a screenshot of my chart with all my trading rules clearly visible. I then keep the screenshot displayed on my screen at all times. It works until it doesn't, and it's totally fine. This is how I describe any trading strategy. What's not okay is that instead of optimizing your current strategy, traders would jump straight to another one and hope that'll do magic only to get disappointed once again. In this video, I'll guide you through enhancing your trading strategy by addressing six crucial questions. We'll explore each question in depth, offering you valuable insights to refine your approach. We'll discuss methods to improve and build confidence in your trading setup. Regardless of the market or instrument you trade, be it stocks, forex, or cryptocurrencies, these principles will elevate your trading performance. Let's begin. Before we dive into improvements, it's crucial to analyze your current approach. Whether you're already trading with real money or still paper trading, honest self-assessment is key. Ask yourself these important questions. Why did you choose this strategy initially? Have you thoroughly backtested and forward tested this strategy? If so, has it met your expectations and projected performance? Do you strictly adhere to your strategy's rules? How regularly do you trade? Is it consistent or sporadic? How well are you managing risk? Are your position sizes appropriate for your account and risk tolerance? If you think it's not working, can you pinpoint the exact problem? Is it the strategy itself or could it be your execution? Reflecting on these questions will give you a clearer picture of where you stand and what aspects of your trading need the most attention. So let's get through all of them together. Why did you choose this strategy initially? Reassess if the strategy still aligns with your current goals, risk tolerance, and market understanding. If misaligned, adjust the strategy or consider alternatives that better fit your current situation. Document your trading goals and ensure your strategy serves them. Have you thoroughly backtested and forward tested this strategy? If so, has it met your expectations and projected performance? If not, conduct comprehensive testing across various market conditions. This will boost your confidence in the future as you'll now trust your strategy much more. Use TradingView's backtesting tools or other platforms to test your strategy rigorously. When backtesting your strategy, pay close attention to key metrics like drawdowns, win rate, and risk reward ratio. These indicators provide crucial insights into your strategy's performance. However, be cautious about backtesting results. Remember, these tests reflect past performance, which doesn't guarantee the same outcomes in the future. Market conditions during your testing period might differ significantly from current or future conditions. For instance, your strategy might have been tested during a period of higher volatility or in a ranging market, which could be different from what you're experiencing now. Always be prepared to adapt your strategy as market conditions change. What worked in the past may not work in the future, so continuous evaluation and adjustment are key. People often ask me in the comments for backtesting results, win rates, etc. There are a few reasons why I don't like to share these. Firstly, if you don't do the backtesting yourself, you won't develop the confidence necessary to trust your strategy. Even if I or someone else tells you a strategy is good, you might lose faith after your first real money loss. This could lead to blaming others for recommending the strategy, rather than taking responsibility for not doing your own due diligence. Secondly, what worked for my specific instrument, timeframe, and testing period doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. Markets and conditions vary, and strategies often need to be tailored to individual circumstances. Do you strictly adhere to your strategy's rules? Develop discipline in following your rules consistently. Create a trading checklist and review it before each trade. Here's a simple but effective technique I use. I take a screenshot of my chart with all my trading rules clearly visible. I then keep this screenshot displayed on my screen at all times while trading. This constant visual reminder helps me follow my rules strictly and resist impulsive decisions. You can easily do this by using a multi-monitor setup or by dedicating a portion of your screen to display your rules alongside your trading chart. How regularly do you trade? Is it consistent or sporadic? Establish a consistent trading routine that fits your lifestyle. Set specific trading hours and stick to them, even if it's just a few hours a week. This consistency is crucial for developing and maintaining your trading skills. For example, if you're only available to trade during specific times of the day, consider using time-specific strategies. The opening range breakout indicator is an excellent tool for this purpose. It's particularly useful for traders who can only focus on the market opening. I've covered this in detail in previous videos, which I'll link in the description below. Leverage technology to maximize your limited trading time. Use alerts and scanners to identify opportunities within your designated trading windows. This approach is especially helpful if you're juggling other responsibilities and can only check for trade opportunities occasionally. Set up custom alerts in your trading platform for specific price levels, indicator signals, or market conditions that align with your strategy. This way, you're not glued to the screen, but can still catch potential trades when they arise. Remember, it's not about the quantity of time you spend trading, but the quality of your trades and your adherence 
adherence to your strategy. By focusing on specific times and using the right tools, you can make the most of your available trading hours. Whether you're a full-time trader or fitting trades around a busy schedule. How well are you managing risk? Are your position sizes appropriate for your account and risk tolerance? Implement robust risk management techniques. Define clear position sizing rules based on your account size and risk tolerance. A fundamental rule in risk management is to never risk more than 1-2% to of your account on a single trade. This principle helps protect your capital from significant losses. However, as your account grows, don't be afraid to increase your position sizes. As long as you're still adhering to this 1-2% to risk rule. For example, 2% of a $1,000 account is $20, while 2% of a $10,000 account is $200. The percentage remains the same, but the actual trade size increases as your account grows. Your backtesting results should guide you on optimal placement of stop losses and exit points for your strategy. These elements are crucial for managing risk effectively and maximizing potential returns. If you think it's not working, can you pinpoint the exact problem? Is it the strategy itself or could it be your execution? Develop a systematic approach to performance analysis. Keep a detailed trading journal to track your decisions and outcomes. Use this data to identify and troubleshoot issues. Regularly review your journal to identify patterns in winning and losing trades. Look for common factors when you're incurring losses or making profits. Consider your mental state. Are you trading when emotionally tired? Are you entering trades unprepared or not following rules closely? Use these insights to improve your trading process and mental approach. Remember, improvement is an ongoing process. I encourage you to make small incremental changes and test them thoroughly before making major strategy overhauls. It's about consistent refinement, not drastic changes. Stay patient, stay disciplined, and keep learning from both your successes and failures. 